Hello everyone and welcome to my Stefania Banini SBC review. It looks like EA are going to start dropping some fairly priced SBCs now because their past SBCs, at least the past three, have been greatly overpriced. Like De Bruyne overpriced, Agpom overpriced, Madison was fairly priced, but I feel like you can get similar style players for less less of the value, uh, coin value. But Banini is, looks really well priced, but I feel like she's really well priced because um she's kind of hard to link I guess, and also she's a woman. I mean, EA knows that there's people buying this game that really are against them putting women in the game. But for me, honestly, I don't care. I never understood why people are against having women in the game. I mean, they're saying it's unrealistic, but but in FIFA 23, I had a goalkeeper running my midfield, so I don't really think unrealistic or realistic matters in this game. At the end of the day, if they fit my team and they're meta, they're going to get into my team. And we're going to get some dubs. Now, you can put a lot of different chemistry styles depending on how you want to use her. But me, personally, I put an anchor on her because I want her to be a little more fast. And also, I wanted to up those defensive stats and those physical stats. I used her in a 4-1-2-1-2 where she was the left center mid while Jock Concello was the right center mid. But her stats overall look really good. Like, honestly, I got to applaud EA for making this card really good stat-wise. But is she good in-game? That's what we're going to here to find out. So when the game started, I instantly gave her the ball because I wanted to see how good she was dribbling in tight spaces. And honestly, she's really good. Like, those dribbling stats aren't just there for show. They're, they show in-game that she's really good at dribbling. There she got tackled, but that was mostly on me because I just kind of got lost just trying to dribble with her. But those stats are real. She's really good at dribbling. And also, you can see that she moves into space when she sees it. Like, look, she's still going. Like, the dribbling is insane. There, I lost the ball. There, but that, you see, you saw right there, that's one issue I had with her that it showed repeatedly. She's fairly weak. And it's not just, like, the the stats in-game. It's also because I think she's, like, on the smaller side. Like, I, I think she's 5'4". So, she's small. And there she got beat off the ball by Fierlo. Like, that normally wouldn't happen to, like, someone like, I would say, Llorente or Jao Cancelo. But her, because she's small and... Her car that is like she's seventy physical, so she's not that strong. She just got absolutely bodied. But there, if you saw in the goal, she ran into the space as soon as she saw it, and she got that burst of speed and she scored. Now there, she can like her dribbling is insane. Look and she, and also at ninety one acceleration is also there because she just doesn't stop running. She just sprints super fast, and it, you can tell. One thing she also does that is that she pulls off skill moves relatively fast. Like, I've noticed with some players that the skill moves come off kind of slow. I don't I don't know why that is. It might be like a play style. But she pulls off skill moves really fast. Like, she cuts in and out really quick. Like, look at all these clips. Look how fast she's moving her feet. That's all me. I mean, that's all her. But I'm the one, obviously, I'm, like, moving her. But she's doing it really fast. So, I, if you're good at dribbling, I highly recommend her. But if you're going to use her, I also recommend you using her with someone who's kind of on the bulkier side. Also, I don't think she's going to work well in a two-person midfield. I feel like you need three players in the midfield just so you can get the best out of her. So I ran her in a 2-1-2 with uh, Jolington as center defensive mid and Jarko Cancelo as my right center mid. And I feel like that's a really good balance because she's really good at attacking. She's an attacking CM and she does that great. Jarko Cancelo's kind of in the mid here. He's good at defending and attacking. And then Jolington just a physical beast. I feel like you need that because if she gets bodied, which I, I showed one clip here, but it happened a lot during the game, you need someone there to cover her. And for me, it was Jolington. In the games I used her, she controlled the game. She started all of my attacks without even like trying to force the ball to her. She just kind of just was there all the time to receive the ball at all times. And with that acceleration, she just broke the line quickly and almost always. So honestly, she's going to stay in my team. I really enjoyed using this card. For pace, I gave her an 8 out of 10 just because her acceleration is insane. Like, if you saw in the clips and like what I said, her burst of speed is insane. She would just sprint past everyone, but her sprint speed itself, once she gets set to that top speed, isn't that fast. But you won't notice it a lot because you shouldn't even be sprinting all the time. Her finishing is an 8 out of 10. For what she does, she's good. She scored a lot of goals. Her dribbling is her best attribute by far. She's insane at dribbling. It's really hard to get the ball out of her. And her defending, not horrible, but not great. Like, I'm, I didn't expect her like, to be a great defen uh, defensive midfielder. But she was there. She covered when she needed to cover. Her biggest uh, downfall in defending and physical is that she just gets bodied very easily. But like I said, pair with someone who's super strong.
the good thing about her card also is that she has really good links. Like just in the midfield, she has the Paul and she has Juventus. That right there is an insane midfield with her. When it comes to attacking, she has the Paz, she has Griezmann, and she has Correa, and she has uh, Aji Batty. I don't, I don't know if I said that right, but she has them. So her links are actually insane. So first, for like right now in the game, I highly recommend her if you can get her in your team. Without a doubt, a ten out of ten buy. So yeah, that's my review for the Stefania Bandini SPC. Please leave a comment on anything you think I can do to better improve the quality of these videos. Also, comment on any other players you want to see me review next. I will happily get those videos out. But yeah, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video.